What's up there, YouTube? Well, I got this test pole here we're going to use. It's about 10 foot long. Schedule 40, inch and a half structural steel pipe. We're going to start assembling the uh, Thermodyne. I already started getting the PMA mounted to the bracket. Got everything painted. I got the hub spacer and this little shim piece painted. I believe this was bare steel. So it's a good idea to paint it. If you don't paint it, just put a thin coat of like lacquer or something on it to keep it from getting rusty. Because what'll happen is it'll this will rust and the rust will get it will start to bind to the shaft. Even though the shaft won't rust, this will. If it's not coated or anything, I, I didn't notice. I just kind of... This is zinc plated. I just kind of painted them anyway because I want everything white. This is zinc plated, so this wouldn't rust anyway. But, going keeping with the theme... See, in the, I got a little bit on the inside there. But it still it doesn't, it doesn't interfere. It's such a thin coat on the inside. But yeah, we got the, the top of the bracket, the PMA bracket, the PMA spacer shafts, rods, tubes, whatever you want to call them. Got the tail fin, we're not going to paint that. And the four brackets for the tail fin. Two for the top, two for the bottom, left and right. So, I suppose... What I'm going to do is I'll break out the grinder with the wire disc wheel on it and we'll clean up a good portion of this. Oh, I got the, uh, there was something else. Oh, the ra roller bracket. That's right. So we got this all back together and painted, ready to go back on the, go back on the pole or go on the pole. So that's back together and done. And here's the disc. So that's white as well. I'm going to keep the, the reason why we're going white is because it'll keep temperatures down. Might not seem like a big deal, but I mean, technically it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, but you know, the more you, the more white you have in something that's a little bit of a little heat sensitive, the better. Besides, it'll kind of blend in a little better too. It won't, it won't be so, uh stand out -ish, I guess. Um, the hubs, we're going to do the seven blade hub since it's already assembled. I didn't repaint it. I'll probably disassemble this and I'll clean it up a little bit and paint it white once I'm putting this thing up permanently. But right now we're going to use this as a test pole. I'm just going to strap it to that ramp right there on the trailer. It's not for any official test results or anything, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's get to, um, I'm going to get this thing assembled and get it, get the end of this pole cleaned off. And then we'll get, a, we'll get it hooked up to the rectifier and a couple of batteries and one of the watts meters. Here, we're probably going to use... I have the 180 amp meters. What the hell did I do with them? Uh, yeah, I got the. They're around here somewhere. I think they are around here somewhere. I have no freaking clue what I did with anything. I'm so disoriented or disorganized today. Um, well, anyway, we, we got 130 amp meters we can use. We'll use a couple of them because we're not going to be, we're not, we're not, we don't have a lot of wind today, so we'll just do that. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, we got this assembled. We got the wind turbine assembled, laying here on the makeshift workbench. I'll give you a better view. We got the PMA mounted to the PMA bracket. We got the tail fin brackets mounted to the bracket or to the PMA bracket and the aluminum tail fin mounted to the tail fin brackets. 
So now all we got to do is get it up on the pole. Well, first I have to strap the pole to the trailer. And then we'll, uh, we'll put the blade set on. Well, we'll first we'll put the roller bracket on and the disc. And then we'll put this on the tower. And then we'll put the blade set on and... Um, I guess we'll start seeing what kind of kind of wind we can get out of a 10-foot tower on strapped to a trailer and next to the house. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be a real scientific test. It's just going to it's just to see it installed and working. So uh, let's get to it. Well, there she is up on a 10-foot tower. And we got it hooked up to a single battery, 12 volt deep cycle. Ran through the rectifier, through a watt meter, into the battery with some uh, big ass bus bars. It's only temporary setup. Um, we had a gust come through. There you go. But then again, I mean, it's only on a <laughs> it's on a ten foot tower strapped to the trailer, so you can't expect anything out of this. I mean, there's really where I'm sitting right now. I'm only about 10, 15 feet away from it, and I don't feel any wind. So I mean, obviously you can tell by it's not uh, rotating. But you can see we got the roller bracket installed. And that thing just glides. Look at how nice and butterly smooth that turns. That's what the whole point of that is. It doesn't make any noise. And look at that. Buttery smooth. But the winds are light. They're only like 5 to 7 mile an hour. So, we'll see. We'll uh, we have plans to put it up. I don't know when. Probably soon, maybe. I don't know. I gotta wait and see what happens with uh, getting it run and everything, and then we'll um, we'll be setting up some uh, test stuff. We'll get some of these meters set up, and we'll get a board built, and then. Uh, I guess we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. But uh, I just wanted to show it. It's assembled. It's up on the tower. The tail fin is a mess because I got hit my dirty hands all over it. But we'll get it cleaned up. And we'll get everything set up. And we're rocking seven blades. Super core, 12 volt. Uh, three phase. Wild AC. Everything's white. Looking good. Looking real good. So now, we'll wait and see if we get any wind. I doubt it, because it's, not, it's supposed to be a little breezy today, but, you know, 10-foot tower, not going to really get much results out of it right where it's at. Because of, uh, I'm, I'm situated right around trees and right in front of the garage here, so it's not, it's not going to see much. But, that's it for now. 